great wildlife, great beaches, a diverse population with a diverse culture. My motherland has summoned me and I'm running into the arms of Mama Africa, Kenya, where the beauty of landscape is matched only by the warmth and resilience of its people. From the bustling streets of Nairobi to the vast savannas of Masai Mara, Kenya is a place that will challenge your senses and leave an indelible mark on your soul. The food, oh the food, from the grilled goats and ugali to the fresh fish and coconut rice, the flavours are bold and complex. Nah, 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 this is nice. Mm. I love Kenya, man. Karibu Nyambani, welcome to Kenya. We are out here in Kenya, Nairobi. It is hot. It's boiling hot. It's baking. I'm with Margaret. We've been here before. She was well. She was raised here. Yes. Um, and we are just doing a street tour of Nairobi, like getting the first impressions of Nairobi. And uh, it's been it's been done by guys who were in the streets. So they were in the streets, and now. They've managed to sort of navigate their way out of their hardships of having to, you know, live in the slums and everything. And now they do tours. So it's going to be incredible um, to see the back road of Nairobi. Hello. Hiya. Hiya. This is the Nainami Tour Group. It's a social enterprise that offers storytelling tours in Nairobi downtown guided by former street kids. Their aim is to create new jobs for disadvantaged youth from slums by giving their guests the unique opportunity to experience Nairobi through the eyes of the street kids. Yeah, let them know. What's your name, What's man? What's on the menu? Quick good day. Quick good day. Quick quick. Quick quick. quick. Yeah, my name is Quick, but they call me Quick Quick. Quick Quick. Yeah. Uh, there's a funny story behind that name, Quick Quick. Yeah, man. Let them know the story. Like. I was so fast, even the police, they could never see me when I'm stealing their things, you know? Really? So they could never get me. I was uh, as fast as I had to, you know? He's saying he was that fast. We used to steal in the streets, he used to do pickpocketing. Um, that police couldn't catch him, you know what I'm saying? Um, but on a darker note, some of his friends obviously passed away and died in the process of being a pickpocketer. But for him, he survived because he was so quick. But I don't think he's quicker than me. We literally been doing a tour, like it's mad. The tour's actually mad still. We've just been going around filming locals and getting like a taste of what the streets of Nairobi are saying still. It's good man, it's really good, it's really insightful. Um, it's quite sobering because obviously you get to learn about their sort of their upbringing and the how this journey. life journey, how disadvantaged they were and everything else. So it's been cool man. It's been all right. Now we're just waiting for some munchies, man. I'm, I'm starving. I can't even lie to you. We can't. haven't eaten. <laughs> we haven't eaten. What time did we, we, we arrive at? We, we landed at two. two we went man. out. Went out. Went the out. minute we landed. It's and then, going out. Yeah, yeah. You forced me in it. You, she forced me. And then literally got two hours of sleep. Woke up early. Had to get a SIM card. It's been long, man. It's been long, but we made it's it. Worth it. It's worth it. Avocado, obviously. Yeah, chapati. Chapati, yeah. Oh. It's like our Kenyan pizza. We call it the Kenyan pizza. The Kenyan pizza? Yeah. And then we have the pilau. Yeah. Where's the cheese, man? Where's yeah. the cheese if this is the Kenyan pizza? <laughs> <laughs> just call it the Kenyan pizza. Yeah. I yeah. saw a circle like the pizza. Yeah, yeah. So we nicknamed it the Kenyan pizza. Kenyan pizza. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. And then we have the pilau. The pilau, yeah? This one's like a Swahili rice with some spice. Okay. Inside it. Yeah. yeah. So it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. I think you'll enjoy it. And then we have the local rice. Yeah. That's the formal one. Okay. And this one is called mandazi. 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 Uh, yeah, it's like a, a bun. Okay. Yeah, like Where's it? Like flour. It's it just flour. Flour and it's fried, isn't it? Uh, flour. Which flour? Okay. And then they make it like uh, the pancake, but with this one they dip it inside the, okay. inside the fuel. Uh, I mean the oil. Yeah. And then 
Oh, I guess puffs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I see, I see, I see. And then we have the lentils. The lentils, yeah. yeah the lentils. Yeah. I think it's a uh, good food. That's it, yeah. So What's, what meat is in this then? Sorry? What meat is this then? Yeah, this is beef. Beef, yeah? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Cow's cool. meat. Calm, calm, calm. Yeah. All right then. So we're going to have a munch now. We're going to yeah. see what it's saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't go wrong with Schweppes. <laughs> yeah. So what, you just munch it all together, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put it all together and just munch. Just together and then we say, welcome. Welcome. Or we say, karibu. Karibu. In Swahili, we say, karibu. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So let's go for it. Let's go for it, yeah. So avocado. <laughs> So you yeah, say, yeah, it's freestyle. First time, okay. So no. you just freestyle it. Freestyle, yeah. Okay, freestyle. you do whatever you want. Whatever you want. Come on, oh. speak in my language. You just yeah, do whatever yeah. you want, you know. Come on. Going for the freestyle. Good. The chapu is really good. Mm. Really good. It's nice. It's light. It's fluffy. A bit chewy. Chewy, and then. I'm gonna have a bit of the biryani rice. I mm. It's not bad. Mm. I need some spice. Uh, it's too mild. Mm -hmm. Or is it just me being too gone in? It's too no. mild. It needs a bit of spice, heat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm ex you know what it is, yeah? It looks like jollof. Mm. So I'm expecting like, you know, lots of different spicy flavors, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's not bad though, it's good. It's good, it's good, but it just needs a bit of heat. Yeah. It needs a bit of vroom. Yeah. Like, it needs to be punchy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So, uh, the beef is nice though. Mm -hmm. Them put in as much pepper as they, they want to put in. Yeah, yeah, as much pepper as you want to do. Yeah. yeah. So, but uh, maybe next time when you come, I'll, uh, I'll get the fresh one, you know? Yeah, get me the fresh one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Need a fresh so, one. I remember when I was in boarding school, this used to be my meal. Mm. So, dengu, chele, mm. and then at home, avocados as well. Mm. So. Yeah, mm. everything's just lacking a little bit of spice. Mm. That's all it is, just a bit of seasoning. This is Kisma. He's the owner and founder of the Nine Nami Tours. So I'm, I'm here with Kiki's man. Um, we just literally completed a, a was it a street tour, like yeah. underground street tour, yeah, it's not underground, your everyday street underground, tour. Underground, yeah, underground street tour. Yeah. What makes your? Can you tell the viewers what makes your street tour so different from every other street tours that takes place in Nairobi or better known yeah. the world? Yeah, because uh, one of the things that makes it uh, different and special is like um, we grew up in these streets and uh, we know these streets better than anyone else. And back in the days we used to run those streets yeah so we know who runs the street at the moment so with that one it makes it so easy for us to do the tour because when you do it with us you see so many things you'll see a lot of liveliness in, this, in, the, in, in, in downtown mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and like obviously what inspired you to, to start this because this is uh, so one of the things that inspired me to start the tours like uh, because of my graph background where I grew up in and also you know I was a street kid at some point back in the days when I was five and six months mm. so that's when I first came into the streets mm. and uh, with me just like starting the tour was a way of like you know connecting mm. the less privileged mm. with the outside world mm. because this is where we get to share and also you know learn from other people mm. because uh, we say the streets mm. it, uh, you know it's um, it's a universal mm. a college or university because there are things that you learn from the streets that you can't learn in of course somewhere so you're more street wise you're yeah. street yeah, I am street so, mm. yeah. I think you're doing God's work, man. Honestly, because what you're doing is that like you're giving um, opportunities to those kids or to youth adults that are yeah. stuck in that system, in the slums, yeah. and a, a get out, you know, a different focus. Yeah. So, because someone like Quick here could have been still in the streets, yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. doing his thing. But now he's turned it around where he's actually giving us stories and showing us his, his uh, you know, his what upbringing and how, how he focused it. Yeah. That's really good, man. So, so what's next, man? What, what, what's next? So there are so many things that are next. Like now, mm. uh, what I can say is like we have a school that we're running. We have a community wow. school that's, that's taken incredible. care of. That's incredible. And uh, we're doing that because, uh, you know, even as someone took care of us, so we also feel that we have a big responsibility of taking care of, you know, mm. other kids with it. Yeah, so we have that. That's like one of the projects that we have. And we are running. We have two schools that we are uh, working with. And um, 
there is one that we're looking forward to build it hopefully this year mm. to build them like a permanent structure wow. and uh, that's one another thing is like um, there is uh, other experiences that we've already started yeah. yeah so there is a lot that is working behind the scene wow yeah and uh, besides that I also do music so yeah, there is also something I'll put his, better I'll put his YouTube channel yeah. on the, on the yeah. bottom of the screen as yeah, well there, yeah there is something uh, I've dropped a, a single yesterday yes, yesterday night yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is something that is uh, online. So works, yeah? Yeah. You guys can just have to look and uh, to watch. And can, I, think, can I get a feature? Can I yeah, come okay, in? Yeah. Yeah, I spit mm. a few bars in. Yeah, no worries. You're Margaret and I have known each other for three years, and she gave me my first opportunity when I was starting out in YouTube. Three years ago, I recorded an episode at her restaurant that she owns. Since then, we've become good friends. Where are we, Margaret? Where are we? Kosewe. Kosewe? Yeah, Kosewe. Ronaldo, Ronaldo Foods, the best for traditional thing Come there. on, yeah! So as you can see, there's a proper workstation going on here, man. It's lots of food, lots of uh, varieties. You've got meat, you've got fish, you've got veg. You've got the fish master here. Very fish master, fish master yeah, it's it's the master the guy. It's, it's a vibe, it's a proper vibe here. Proper, proper vibe. And we've gone all out, guys. My stomach is. There's a lot going on in there. I'm scared. I'm very scared. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So Talk us through what's, what we got going on there. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff. So we have matumbo, fried matumbo, yeah. matumbo, fried matumbo, fried matumbo, and then we have manalgu, uh, which is Kenyan traditional vegetables, right. and then we have squali rice. rice. This is um, Pili Pili. And we're going to go in with Matumbo. Matumbo. Fried and this, Matumbo. Uh, this is the stomach. Yeah, the cow stomach. Intestines, yeah, cow intestines. So this is Matumbo, if you can see it. It's cow intestines. Let's have a bit of a bite. Mm. Yeah. Flavors. I'm not even guessing. It's very soft, it's tender, it's packed with flavour. Oh man, it's well seasoned, a hint of sweetness in there as well. But it's like you're chewing on this soft, rubbery sort of texture. It takes a while, but yeah. it's not annoyingly chewy, if yeah. that makes sense. It's like one, two, three, boom, and it goes away. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So now, I'm having a ball, I'm, you know the ones? like a true African man, you have to do this, roll it up with your fist. I mean, taking a bit of managu, managu, managu. taking a bit of managu. Okay, now I'm gonna add a bit of chili. Yeah. Now, time for the taste test. Just boiled in, in a pot and it's on 
constant stirring, yeah. adding more maize, constant stirring, add more maize and water until it thickens and you, this is firm, you get this firm sort of texture, okay? And when you add it to the other condiments, it just carries the flavour, it's just carrying the flavour, alright? Bite 
like into it, it's like. Brrr, 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 brrr. You know what I mean? You know, like Tetrix. Kenya's doing a lot right now, man. Kenya's doing a lot. Yeah. I like it. Alright, so I just finished eating at the Sobo. Yeah, it was nice, man. It was lots of varieties, lots of different dishes that you can choose from. My first ever encounter with a Kenyan feast, a Kenyan banquet, and it was, yeah, it didn't disappoint, it was amazing, it was incredibly tasty, you guys have to come here man.